Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you enjoy Halloween and making costumes as much as I do, it is our time of year. That's right kids, Halloween is in two months. Are you prepared? Go ahead and subscribe because I'm gonna be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even putting some of those items at home to use. In today's episode, we will be recreating Pinocchio from the 1940 Disney animated classic, Pinocchio. Let's get started. Here we have Pinocchio. It looks like a pile of mess right now, but we're gonna turn it into the beloved puppet who so desperately wanted to be a real boy. And we're starting with all of this. We're starting with these cute little shorts. I purchased these online. I'll put down in the description where I actually purchased these and how much they cost. I think they're around 20 bucks. They were actually very reasonable. They're stretch fabric and they were, they were actually really cool shorts. I, I like them a lot. I have some felt here brown felt we're gonna make the hat and with that i got some really nice light blue ribbon some feathers he has a feather in his hat and a shirt i got from the thrift store just a, a pale yellow shirt we've got some gloves here i have a black vest i have this really cool stretch sequined fabric that we're going to make the suspenders with it's going to be really easy probably going to do a simple stitch and just sew them in. I have a mesh nude top, um, nude pantyhose, a couple more kinds of ribbon that we will also be using for this. Um, these are the shoes I'm going to be wearing. There's some old Doc Martens that I had. He does wear kind of like a Mary Jane sandal type of shoe. And then that's the pompadour that I bought to create this look. It's not a great wig, but all I needed was that front part anyway. It doesn't matter how the rest of it looks, we will be wearing a hat. Uh, and of course the bow tie. That's it for Pinocchio. Let's go ahead and get started creating this. Here is our completed Pinocchio costume. I think it turned out fabulous and seeing it all together like this with the colors and the contrast, I think it really brings it to life. That's why I wanted to show you with it all finished what it looked like together. I think it's gonna be a cute costume. I considered doing wood grain, drawing it on my arms and legs. However, you know, just for right now and because I've got so many costumes going on, it's going to be too much for me right now. So today we're going to do Pinocchio as a real boy. <laughs> 
just kind of go that route just so that it's easier for me to convey to you. I did want to throw that out there. If you really wanted to bring this costume to life and be the wooden puppet, you can always draw wood grain on your legs and arms and kind of go that route. But that's just another idea. Let's get started with our makeup. It's makeup time <sighs> and we're becoming Pinocchio today. I'm going to do an exaggerated brow. I've already put on foundation, powder, and all of that. Cause I mean, that's all I did. <laughs> that's pretty easy to figure out. <laughs> foundation and powder. It's pretty much normal makeup. So it's nothing crazy. Pinocchio has always been one of my favorite Disney animated classics. I love the message when Disney back in the forties and fifties and even 30s when Disney was a little more pure than they are these days. There was always a good moral message usually in their animated cartoons and Pinocchio and Snow White and Cinderella of course were all my favorites. If you'll notice I put in blue contact lenses. Again that's optional. They were a little bit of a pest today so I may be ditching these blue contacts and getting new ones. I've worn them so much this year. They've just had it. <laughs> and, you know, they, they're a little irritating right now, but they're going to be all right. My eyes are just getting used to them. I had to rehydrate them. For some reason, I'm having the problem of my contact solution evaporating inside the contact case. So I don't know if you go through that, but I thought that was the whole idea of a contact case to keep them moist and they it just evaporates. So I don't know why that's happening. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. What you're gonna need, what you will need for this costume, you're gonna need some spirit gum. This is my Mehron big spirit gum I just got on our trip to Cincinnati because they actually had an all year round costume shop there and I got it for 25 bucks. Not having to pay for shipping, that's a pretty sweet deal. Like I said, regular foundation, I'm gonna be using a red crayon, a mauve lipstick, I'm gonna be using this more of a paint today. It's kind of just normal makeup, other than I'm gonna be doing the cartoon smile with the little tongue on the bottom, the way his was. I think it'll turn out all right. I'm probably gonna put on eyelashes just because he's more of a cartoony character. Not so much to look feminine, but a puppet would have eyelashes. That's just my thought process, fake eyelashes. <laughs> so we're gonna put some eyelashes on. I will be creating a nose with my Crayola Model Magic, but we're gonna do that last. All right, now I'm gonna use this Kat Von D makeup to go over my eyebrows so that I can draw on new eyebrows that will be more cartoony. Done kind of the best I can with my eyebrows here. Maddie, if you're out there, girl, tell me how they do it in drag because <laughs> for some reason, it never works out as good for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I have no patience. But I'm gonna do a cartoony eyebrow for, for this one. Now his eyebrows kind of go up, kind of like he's always surprised. I'm gonna go in with a black pencil. So this kind of a brow is kind of like what I'm going for. Kind of like surprised, it's small. That's kind of how his are. So maybe not so small. <laughs> as I go, I'm just cleaning it up some, adding in a little bit of the foundation. What's crazy is I don't have like a lot of eyebrow. <clears throat> I have thin eyebrows. Cause I started plucking way too early in, in school when I was still in like high school and they never quite grew back the same. You know how in the 90s, everybody wanted the thin eyebrows. That was the look. And when I went for it, I never got my eyebrows back. But when I go to glue them down, they don't want to stay down. It's kind of like my hair. It doesn't want to keep a curl. I'm like, I want you to be curly today. And it's like, no, how about no? How about I want to be straight? <laughs> Great, thanks hair for being so cooperative. Yeah, same thing with the eyebrows. I don't really think it's a me thing. I think it's just my eyebrows just don't want to do it. They're just like, uh, no, <laughs> we're barely there anyway. We want to be seen. That's just about how it's going to go down. Surprise. <laughs> now I'm going to do the other eyebrow. I find that the, the fat 
crayon is kind of bleeding out a little bit and I'm having to clean it up a lot. So I, I probably, you know, hindsight, you know, I probably would use a liquid liner for this. If you're looking for an androgynous look for Halloween, this would be a great androgynous look and probably really cute. Like I learned this whole Elmer's glue hack from the girls on RuPaul's Drag Race and uh, it looks, they make it look so easy and like it just works every single time. So I don't know. And some of them have big bushy eyebrows. It's incredible. Like they must sit there and just layer it on and layer it on. I don't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? For you sexy girls out there, you might want to do a rendition of Pinocchio. Ho. Huh? I came up with that on my own. But uh, I'm sure it's out there. I looked up costumes. I've been thinking about doing this costume for a while now. And the problem was I wanted to lose weight before I did it. I didn't want to be voluptuous Pinocchio, but life didn't work out that way this year. I injured my knee. I was out for a while, out from doing it at all. And I had been in a whole, you know how January it is, January, the whole exercise routine, I'm changing my life, I'm getting healthy, you know? It's that way for everybody for like the first month. For me, it was that way until I got injured and then everything changed, you know? I had a whole plan to be way ahead in uh, filming so that I could get some months off this year and that ain't happening. <laughs> I mean, here we are approaching Halloween right now and uh, yeah, it just came for me. Like Halloween's like, I'm here, <laughs> hey, how you doing? And I'm like, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. <laughs> Normally I would say I am ready. I love that Halloween's here, but I wasn't ready this year, <laughs> you know? Cause I've got to do two costumes a week in October. I plan to losing that time actually really, really affected everything. I'm tired of using this crayon. Let's go in with the, the liquid liner. Tried and true, I'm telling you. The liquid liner every time. That made quick work of my eyebrows. Quick work of my eyebrows. I don't know what I was trying to do using a crayon. <laughs> well, um, it's just a big fat black liner, but it was, wasn't giving me like the, the fine lines that I wanted. You want definition? You're gonna have to go for the liquid liner and you'll get it quick. My eyes are a little red. All right, I finally like the way my eyebrows are looking. So I've got a bit of a, a terracotta sort of color or maybe even like a light pink something like around that color that shade I'm gonna grab it I'm just gonna shade also shade my face some with a similar color I'm looking at a picture of them I'm gonna kind of go around my face a little bit just kind of bringing out the features Now moving down to the eyes. And we're gonna do these eyes just like we did with the Snow White Witch to give the illusion that the eyes are bigger. So first I'm gonna um, line my waterline with white. I think actually this might be what's messing up my contacts. They had something on them today and I couldn't figure out then I'm gonna outline using my liquid liner. I do want kind of a bolder line because he is a cartoon character. So I'm gonna try and make it a little thicker. And do the same to the other side. I saw some Pinocchio costumes online and they were okay. But Pinocchio is one of those that might be a little hard to find done in a real cute way. It's best, best thing is just to do it yourself because it's going to be kind of cheap looking. And for what you pay for these costumes in a bag, you may as well just do it yourself. It's going to look more authentic that way. Nobody's going to have your costume. So just like that, and then we're going to take our Ben Nye cream pencil. You can use any kind of white liner you want. It doesn't have to be a Ben Nye cream pencil. It's just what I have. So there's a lot of white liners out there that work just fine. As long as it colors well, you know. 
If you're into these Disney characters, I have more Disney characters coming up real soon. You aren't gonna wanna miss that because it's gonna be pretty cool. I didn't go and see the True to Life Pinocchio movie with Tom Hanks. I didn't go and see that. I was kind of interested in seeing it, but I, it's just, I didn't catch it. So this one is definitely based on the old school classic, as usual. I'm old school. Most of my costumes are always gonna be the older version of something because that's just what I'm into. It's nostalgic for me. I'm gonna do a little bit of black liner on my upper lid. Obviously we're not doing a winged liner, <laughs> but it's just to open the eye up a little more. Now I'm gonna put on some mascara and then I'm gonna go put on my eyelashes and then our eyes should be done. It looks kind of silly right now, but wait till we get our mouth and our nose on and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the mouth. I don't, I'm gonna try with the crayon first and if it's not working, I'm just gonna go with my liquid liner and do it that way. But it's gonna be very much similar to what we did with the Snow White Witch. Only not so sinister. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> We're all done. <laughs> Looks like a mustache. I feel like it's crooked, but I have a crooked face, so I also have a mole on this side that's not helping. Beta. I don't know if I told you in my last video, but I recently got a job. I'm cooking again, which I love. So a lot of the time that I spent thinking about my costumes and really giving you a more well thought out video, I don't have any more because I'm working a lot. So oftentimes we're kind of just doing this together, but I'm, I won't steer you wrong. I just went off camera and cleaned up my lines a little bit. Now I'm gonna go down here. Not too big, just right on up towards, up under the lip. I contemplated using my own mouth for this, and you can, if you want. I thought making this fun mouth would look a little more cartoony, maybe a little freaky. <laughs> it is Halloween after all. I'm going to rosy up my cheeks before I forget, and I'm just using a pinky blush with that. It's right here, right in that little area just like in a little circle. Now I'm gonna color in where I drew my lines here with red on the top, upper lip. Bottom lip is gonna be the tongue. <sighs> I'm so glad I got this Ben Nye pencil. Now with my liquid liner, I'm gonna create the tongue. Kinda looks clowny, doesn't it? And just let that dry. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go around a little bit more. Now I've got this mauve pink sort of color and it's just a lipstick. I'm gonna be going in right here, painting the tongue. I think I'm gonna put a little white in there cause it looks kinda like it all blends in. Now it's time to do our nose. I've got some spirit gum here. I'm gonna put it on my nose and then I'm going to start forming it out of the Crayola Model Magic. You wanna apply this liberally. Now, we got our Model Magic here. I've got like a flesh tone. And I'm gonna make our little, now we're gonna make, what kind of nose do you think? Longer, shorter? I mean, it started out short, so it started growing when he started lying about everything. Man, oh man. I wish people's noses would grow when they lied. We'd have a lot of liars out there, you know? And then you could just tell they were a liar and, you know, steer clear of them. <laughs> Rather than, like, bringing them into your life and all that. <laughs> 
I'm just forming a little nose, a little big nose. And I might have to use a little bit of liquid latex. Just gonna press this on. You're gonna wanna just keep it, hold it there for a good minute, maybe a little more than a minute. However long it takes to make, till it feels like it's gonna stay. It's on there. Now I just gotta do my liquid latex and blend with some foundation. And it's, it's on there. This works really well. I'm always very pleased with how well this works, but get a little liquid latex on her, blend with foundation, do a little shading, and that's it. And once it's on there, you can kind of mold it if you want to a little more. Remember, you're gonna wanna put your liquid latex on really fast because it dries quickly. Pinocchio! <laughs> I went ahead and put my costume on. I look like I ate Pinocchio, but whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> like I said, my whole year got thrown off. Hopefully next year will be better. I like pretty much every costume I chose to do this year was for a thinner body. <laughs> and uh, I'm just blending this and then I'm gonna put on my gloves and we'll go take some photos. Blending this with the Kat Von D. Blending, ooh, blending. Do a little shadowing on there. A little powder. Then I need some shadow. All right, photo ready. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you enjoyed today's look. Pinocchio. What a classic. If you're looking for ideas for couples, if you're a group, there's all kinds of characters. You've got Geppetto, you've got Jiminy Cricket for the ladies out there. There's that beautiful angel that comes to visit Pinocchio who makes him into a real boy. So lots of different characters you can do from the film. If you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. And there's going to be a lot more coming up. It is almost Halloween. That does it for today's episode. I'll see you next time.